So on this channel, we've covered a lot of times where I explained to you guys how to edit your videos and how to do it good because in my honest opinion, video editing is considered to be one of the more stronger ways of delivering the story to your audience and to be a good editor is a skill that every content creator should have if not master it in some way or the other. But while mastering every single video editing software, there comes a learning curve, a process where you can learn these things without having uh, to spend nights and days of looking at tutorials and uh, wasting a lot of lot of time. So for this reason, uh, back a few weeks back or a few months back, I had made a video on the best editing software for beginners where we spoke about Filmora by Wondershare and how you can use that uh, to slowly learn video editing. And Today we're making an updated tutorial on that because Filmora just launched their Filmora 9 which is their latest update of the Filmora and it adds a ton of new features to the already great application. With that being said, what's up guys, I'm Buff here and welcome back to today's video. If this video interests you, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's not waste any time and let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do before we get started in this video editing tutorial is go to the first link in the description which will take you to the official website for Wondershare Filmora 9. Now as you can see, everything from the web page to the actual editor, they've changed a lot. They've added a lot of new titles and effects and overlays that you can uh, help get a weirder or a quirkier edit. And you can also perfect your sound with keyframing and background noise removal and audio equalizer. And I keep saying Fundashare and Filmora keep getting more professional with every single update and they've also introduced compositing where you can use keying and green screen effects uh, to you know use that feature if you ever need it. There is also full 4k support which is amazing for me since I shoot and edit in 4k and you can obviously use multiple video imports and all of that good stuff. Now there are a ton of features that I'd love to go inside uh, the application and show you guys but it is absolutely Absolutely enormous and would take an entire day so my suggestion is go ahead download it for yourself and check it out for yourself but right now what you want to do is go ahead and click on that free download button once you've done that you're gonna open up Filmora 9 on the desktop and as you can see I have very conveniently created a stock footage folder over here where I have a couple of uh, 4k footage for you guys so that you guys can go ahead and check how 4k footage works and so I have some kind of footage to edit this video Video with so we're just gonna click on a new project over here and you can see this is the timeline that we have let me just open up into full screen for that and go ahead and full screen that so that is the entire full screen now in the previous video I had explained what these categories or sections are known as but let's just do a quick recap so this is your media bin where you're going to drop all the footage that you're going to be working with this is your media playback place where you will look at uh, the changes that you make and this is your entire editing timeline where you will make those actual changes now with that said let's just go ahead and and import media files we'll just go to desktop stock footage open it up go ahead and select all of this and drag it to the timeline so all of this has been dragged to the timeline as you can see and once you do that you can see that all our footage is here you can quickly select one footage scrub through it to look how it actually looks over here on uh, the main page so you can just double tap and it's going to start playing over here and you can see the footage is incredibly sharp because it is 4k as i said and you can also select the playback level in case your laptop is lagging or anything of that sort now the first thing that i want to try out is go ahead and drop a certain footage so for example if i want to drop this into the timeline the resolution that currency match to media let's just match to media and you can see when we play that back it looks really really good but it doesn't look that good because I think the playback level should be full however let's just increase the size of this a bit so it looks much better there we go now let's play it 
and as you can see that uh, the playback quality is a bit low but it only makes sense for uh, uh, seamless and easier video editing so the first thing that we're going to be looking at is the audio section so once you click on that you can see there is a ton of background music that these guys have for absolutely free so you don't have to go to youtube or go to any other third party website to look for background music you can go ahead and select any kind of mode whether the rock or folk or electronic and go ahead and download that music up so for example if i click on this download icon it's most probably going to download the song and once it is download you can go ahead and drop the background music over here now since i'm recording a voiceover i will be muting it but just so you guys understand how uh, the app or the application works i'll be leaving the audio track with the song so this is how uh, the timeline appears to be right now with the footage over here and the audio file over here now let's just go ahead and go and add another footage uh, something uh, like the koala singing over here so let's just see how that looks let's just quickly go ahead and play through the footage and we can see that uh, it looks pretty damn good to be honest so what we're gonna do is add a transition in between these two files so the cut doesn't look very very weird and uh, uh, you know forced so we go to transitions and they've also add a lot of new different transitions as you guys can see now I always go for the 3d ones or the speed blur ones which looks really good so let me just show you let's just add a blurry cross one to this and it adds kind of like a whoosh transition if that makes any sense to you guys as you can see and it adds this sort of motion blurry camera movement which looks cinematic in my opinion so there are also tons of uh, transitions and essentially the amount of assets that filmora has on its own is absolutely crazy i mean i've never seen this much of asset in build without having to download something else inside a video editing software then you can also go ahead and add a for film or a night life basically different types of filters on top of your videos if you want to and let's just go ahead and select something extremely cinematic such as the 70s vibe or anything of that sort you can go ahead and see that this is the color vibe that we have before and after and you can see it adds that film grain so it makes it look like a vintage video really really cool and really really nice looking so what we want to do next is go ahead and check out the elements section where you can add different kinds of elements such as stickers and arrows and call outs and all of that good stuff now doing all of this does not take a lot of time at all considering the fact that this is a very simple application to use however you can go ahead and you know delete certain kinds of footage you can crop it for example I want to select it and I want to crop it you can go ahead and crop it and select uh, the aspect ratio as well as the resolution and all of that good stuff you can also slow it down or speed it up if you're trying to create a sort of a speed ramp kind of an effect and you also have options for color correction where you can go ahead and insert a LUT or an LUT which I hope you guys know is basically a lookup table where you can add that famous teal and orange look you can also go ahead into each section and adjust the exposure also follow the histogram over here for better controls and essentially i really feel that with such an easy video editing software what wondershare is doing these days is absolutely out of the world i mean i have never seen a video editing software that works this well and has so much options so that you can use it as a beginner and as a professional very very easily without having to breaking your head across the wall or any of that stuff so just hit on ok once you're done and there you go you can go ahead and do all of that now if you want to add a title there are also various titles such as lower thirds and subtitles and all of that and you can literally finish up a very very good amount of video for youtube or for any other platform that you want now once you're ready to you know finish up your edit all you want to do is go over to file then save as if you want to save the project otherwise just go ahead and uh, go to export media then create a video or export to device go ahead and create a video you can select save to filmora output desktop or all of that good stuff and you can see the size uh, the resolution uh, the kind of format whether it's an mp4 or it's an mov or it's m4 v you can go ahead and select the device where you're outputting it to be or directly upload it to youtube if you want to from here 
either way what this uh, software allows you to do at this kind of a situation is really really crazy and you can also adjust everything from rotation of your video clip to the motion uh, to the transitions and all of that stuff and as i said uh, it has to be one of the best video editing software for beginners not only because how simple it is to use but also because uh, the way that the application has been made especially the ui makes it very very simple even for a rookie to go ahead and understand the basics without someone having to explain to him what the application basically does and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys did like it feel free to drop a like subscribe to the channel uh, follow me on instagram and on twitter for links in the description below until then this is anubhav signing out you guys have a great day peace out